negotiating the sale of your TV pilot. So you just pitch the studio or the network and they're like, great, let's do it. All they're agreeing to is to pay you to write the pilot script. They're not saying they're going to put it on the air. They're not even saying they're going to shoot the thing. But you have to negotiate as if it's going to be on the air. So here's a list of things you got to cover. You have to negotiate your pilot script fee. This is how much they're going to pay you to actually write the pilot script. You have to negotiate your pilot fee, how much they're going to pay you to produce uh, the pilot, which takes more time and effort. You have to negotiate your series sale bonus, how much the bonus they're going to give you if the show gets on the air. Now, I have more to say about these three things, but I have more items on the list. So if you want to know more about those three things, follow me for more. Now, I can already hear the internet freaking out. This guy's trying to trick me into following him. I won't do it. I won't fall for it. Listen, you are under no legal obligation to follow me, okay? So, so write in the fine print. What fine print? I didn't see any fine print. No, stupid. There is no fine print, okay? Follow me, don't follow me, whatever. The amount of stupidity on the internet is actually astounding. Everyone's so concerned about artificial intelligence destroying the planet, I am far more worried about man-made stupidity. All right, let's continue. You have to negotiate your series uh, services. This is the title you're gonna get, uh, and also your episodic fee, how much you're gonna get paid per episode to make these episodes of TV. You have to negotiate your consultant fee. Let's say you leave the show, but you remain in some kind of consulting capacity. How much are you gonna get paid for that? Obviously, to be far less than your series services. You have to negotiate your royalty. This is, you know, uh, like a little bonus you get for each time an episode airs. This is particularly important if you get fired off your own show, which happens all the time in Hollywood. So this is the money they got to pay you to stay home. This is the stay home money. All right. You have to negotiate your back end points. This is your ownership in the show. Let's say that back in the day, this was the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but now it's like a thimble of gold. But whatever, this is how much you get paid for selling the show overseas or into syndication and all that. I'll have more to say about that as well. You have to negotiate your positioning and exclusivity. I had a whole video a couple days ago on positioning, so go watch that. And your exclusivity means, are you allowed to develop? Are you allowed to create shows in the meantime? Are you allowed to write movies and sell them? Are you allowed to uh, take a staff writing job on another show during hiatus? All this has to be hammered out. You have to negotiate your assistant. Some writers really want an assistant. I really don't care. To me, that's not a sticking point. You have to negotiate what guild is going to cover it. If you are writing, if you sold it to a signatory, to a WGA signatory, you don't have to worry about this. As long as it's live action, then it'll be covered by the Writers Guild. That's exactly what you want. But if you sell an animated show, then the studio has the right to choose. Or, or I don't know the right, but they get to choose whether it's covered by the Writers Guild or the Animation Guild. You want Writers Guild, you're going to get the Animation Guild. Oh, well, that stinks. All right. For more, keep following me here. And if you want my tips emailed to you once a week for free, sign up for my watch list. The link is in my profile.